I believe I'm an altruistic person because nothing makes me more happy than helping others. My parents often yell at me because I love helping everyone else but don't do anything at home. This shows up in my life because every Saturday morning I wake up at 7 o'clock and go to the hospital and help volunteer there, and I've accumulated over 300 hours. I hope to continue this for as long as I can. Other activities I've helped work with include being a leader for Operation Snowflake, which is a smaller snowball for kids in junior high, and being a leader for Relay for Life. When I was in 4th and 5th grade, a huge part of my schedule was going to monthly chess tournaments. My dad is a chill person about most things, but when it came to practicing chess, he was insanely strict. I'd be forced to spend at least an hour a day practicing and learning new opening moves. If I was watching TV in my free time, he would punish me by making me practice an extra hour. The reason I kept going was because this one time I won Champion of the Year for a Renaissance Knights chess tournament, and my dad bought me Tamagotchi. As an infant, I was able to do whatever I wanted. Because I had an older sister who was usually always taking care of me, my parents didn't really care about what I did. They would often find me sitting in dishwashers or wearing my hair funny or dressing myself up for no reason. This one time when I was five years old, I told my parents that for my birthday, we all just had to take a nap together the entire day and I didn't want anything else. Although they were planning on throwing a party for me that night, they listened to my idea and canceled the party. Attached, you'll find a picture of me with sleepy eyes because I had just woken up from a nap and told them that we had to take a photo shoot. Starting at the latter half of my elementary school years until freshman year, I struggled when trying to figure out how to smile in pictures. In fifth grade, I hated my teeth, so I would smile without my teeth and it would look terrible. The same thing continued through sixth grade. Finally, in seventh grade, my friend took a picture of me when I had a smile with my eyebrows up and my eyes open and I loved how I looked in it. The smile was definitely not genuine, but as I got older, I've learned how to smile realistically, and now I don't look like I'm in pain when I smile. If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay, I just gotta, I just gotta know. I can't have it, I can't have it any other way. I swear she's destined for the screen. Growing up, I had this huge fear of dogs. I still haven't figured out why, but every time a dog came near me, I would panic ridiculously. This one time, my mom and I went to put out the trash, and the dogs didn't have a leash, and it ran up to my mom and me, and we screamed and almost climbed a wall. Finally, I got over my fear freshman year when I had to go to Virginia to visit my cousin, who had a dog. Initially, they had to lock him up, but they slowly let him come near me, and by the end of the trip, I got rid of my fear. I started dancing when I was four years old. I initially joined classes at the temple with my sister and I hated every second of it. I stopped dancing for a couple of years and started again in third grade. I still disliked it very much then too. Finally, in seventh grade, my aunt started teaching me that. And I had dance practice at least four to five hours per day from seventh to ninth grade. Sophomore year, my teacher moved away, but I still dance today because I teach little kids every Sunday afternoon. When you sing that song, yeah, I got a lump in my because math comes to me really easily. I'm able to calculate large numbers in my head really fast. When I was younger, we used to have time tests and I was in India when we learned the multiplication tables, but I came back without learning them and aced every single one of the tests. I also am in Calc BC this year and I learned the concepts fairly quickly. Also, when I was younger, we owned a shop and five-year-old me was in charge of the cash register and I always calculated the change faster than the cash register did. I have always had a secure attachment with my mom. When I was younger, I always hung around my mom and I would never leave her side. We are best friends. This one time, I stole my friend's toy and she yelled at me for it and I got a fever because I cried so much. She's my role model for how I deal with difficult situations. I consider myself an extrovert because I am able to speak freely in environments where I don't know anyone. I'm not afraid to communicate my ideas in front of people who don't know me. For example, in Operation Snowball, I was loud and I was able to talk to everyone and I was able to be myself without feeling awkward. I also make friends pretty easily. For example, at a leadership conference that I went to last year, I made two friends that I still can stay in touch with to this day. Groups that I belong to. I'm a daughter, a sister, a friend, a cousin, a dancer, a speech kid, and an aunt. I love belonging to so many different groups because I always have a different place to go to when something isn't going too well in another place. I also appreciate these groups because they've made me the person I am today because each group has given me a personality trait that I possess.
Overall, I think having these characteristics will mostly benefit me. Being an altruistic person has helped me decide the career I wanted to pursue, which is becoming a speech therapist, and it will continue to bring me joy and will give me better life satisfaction. In addition, because I'm going into the science field, I'll need to take more math classes, and being left brain dominant will help me get through these classes. Also, being an extrovert will help me build connections with other people, which will provide me with better opportunities in the end. My kinesthetic sense will help me in the future because every time I want to relieve stress, I take a break and dance, and that helps me relax. And hopefully it will continue to have the same effect in the future. Belonging to so many different groups will help me have stronger connections with people, which will ultimately provide me with safe environments to be a part of. And that is Psych in My Life. Hey, hi, on the road again.